you got the honours to do this one. Call it. Go yeah. for it. Cannot Thank wait. You Thank you very much, Rachel and Mike. And yeah, I mean, I hate doing predictions as a commentator anyway, but I have to say one of the teams I have predicted to do well throughout this whole tournament, Rodrigo, have done well. Tex uh, and Diogo Jota. Gravis on the other side of the bracket. I know you spoke a little bit of Pedri. He seems like he knows a lot about FIFA and he plays a lot of FIFA as well. So it's no surprise that that duo is also in the grand final right now. Yeah, I do agree that uh, Brandon, uh, both of the uh, teams are very, very equal. Maybe uh, Tex and Jota, maybe they have a, a little bit more experience because I think it looks like they they played before. Uh, Gravison and Pedri, this is the first time they played together, but uh, doesn't doesn't really mind because you know they they're making so great a spectacle and uh, such a great show in this evening. You know that I can't wait the show to to start in this grand final. Well, here's a storyline for you. Twelve bumps ago in our last FGS FIFA 21 challenge. It was actually Gravison and Tex in that grand final. Of course, they're both had different partners back then. It was Trent Alexander-Arnold that was joint with Tex. They were the winners in the end. And it was Declan Rice, of all people, that was partnered with Gravison last year. And it was a bit of a different format. It was pro against pro and then footballer against footballer. No offence to Declan Rice, but he did let Gravison down just a little bit. And you can see that I think it was 5-1 against uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold, which gave Tex the, the chance to play against Gravison. They did draw uh, sort of 1-1 and it was an overall win in the end. But this is a different story right now. It's a 2v2 game and it's a one and done. Who will be the FGS FIFA 22 Challenge winners? Will it be Team EA or will it be Team Ed uh, Adidas overall? Tex and Jota kicking from left to right. In that foot 22 orange jersey. Of course, Gravison and Pedri from right to left, which looking across social media, Rodrigo, it's been clear to see that Gravison's been quite happy with his partner across all of the play today. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I mean, I've heard the percentages before the game, you know, that gives. Oh, watch out. Oh. That was a nice one by Iker Casillas, which is one of the new icon items in this FIFA 22 edition. Anyway, you know, uh, people I think is going with Tex and with Diogo Jota. I don't know if uh, Gravison and, and Petri are going through. But anyway, you know, as long as they have a good time and they enjoy, just like they did till this final, you know, everything will be happy. And I have rumours from yourself, Rodrigo, that you said that Petri has been hovering around the 18 win mark. In yeah. That's not champions. rumor, that's info. Here we have it's info. info. <laughs> yeah. It's confirmed. I mean, Yay. I'll tell you what, Diogo Jota won't be far off that either, to be completely honest with you. However, here comes Gravison and Pebri now with Ginola, who's going to get a brilliant save from Schmeichel. Ginola just knocking on the door of the Danish goalkeeper. He has been a handful for so many people outside of this tournament as well. In the weekend league, causing all sorts of problems. Brilliant ball, Cantona. He's also been on the score sheet a few times today. It's a last ditch tackle from the Frenchman and Desai. And what we're seeing already with 15 minutes played here, Rodrigo, is a very end-to-end -end game of FIFA. Man, it's quite emotion. Oh, look out. Watch out, oh, man. I mean, I, I, I like the way, for example, that uh, both uh, Gravison and Pedro are using Ginola, how they are using Kaka, which is uh, maybe for, for the common people, is kind of an underrated item icon, icon item. But, you know, I think they use it in a proper way. So that's why it's so dangerous with them. Seen Kaka pop up multiple times last year in the competitive landscape. The best time is, though, of course, when players are building their own teams. They don't always have the luxury of having 11 icons on the pitch compared to what we have here. The FIFA 22 challenge. You don't always have the privilege of having a Zidane or a... Of course, a prime icon. Players like Kaka might have to pop up. Here's Pele. Still waiting for that breakthrough here in our grand final. As we said, Tex, he wins again today. It'll be two in two for him. The difference being with another Liverpool teammate. I loved it in the interview, Diego Jota saying that he was the one bossing Tex around, which probably says quite a lot about their duo. That, I mean, if I'm Tex, to be honest, I'll be listening to a Premier League footballer. Del Piero stings the hands on the rebound. Luis Figo's there. It's another great save from Schmeichel. It's three in the last 10 minutes where he's been called into action. And he's had to stand strong, and every single time he has. Great save by Michael. Whoa. Here comes another wave of pressure. Yeah. There you go. Looks for the cut back, finds it. Del Piero finds the block of the defenders. And it into the hands back defender. And he's having to pull his sleeves up to try and keep this game alive. 
Free kick one for 32 yards out. I doubt we'll see a direct shot from this far out. Maybe something off the training ground as one or two players went over the ball. Played it short. Roberto Carlos, I mean, he can hit them from there if you're looking to go direct. Whips it in. Could be too much to ask, and it will be. Four of them are so good at FIFA 22, you know, that they look. Here's a chance. Pele. Yeah. Roberto Carlos recovers well. Sorry, uh, Rodrigo, continue. Yeah, I was going to say that, you know, both of them, I mean, both of the teams, you know, the four of them are so, so, so good at FIFA 22 that they, that it looks sometimes that they play a different game than the rest of the people. <laughs> and you can already see what just two games of playing FIFA together is done with these teams. It's gelled them a little bit better. Chemistry's on point. 2v2 FIFA's going to be about that this year in... It's big major tournaments, the team of the year cup, the team of the season cup, and it's off the bar on the rebound. It's not there because Maradona's just not tall enough to really compete. But it's the finesse's haunting players again. It was off the bar that time. Still the chance is alive. Little dink into Pele. And it's expertly taken from Texan Jota. Six minutes before half time. And that will be your opening goal in the grand final. They smile in again, Diogo Jotz and Tex. When they smile, they win. That's why they play so good. It was a nice one. And I think, you know, once you're in the box, you know, with those kind of players, you're never going to miss that. Could be an instant reply, though. Corner. Four minutes for half time. Here in the FIFA 22 Challenge final, this is the grand final. Ball into the box. In he's the hands of Schmeichel just to tip that one over. Another corner. This time played short. He finds an option in the box, recycles well. Ginola back to goal once, twice! And we're in for a grand final to remember it. What a goal, Ginola. I mean, I think Ginola, you know, as a left middle, he has so, so, so many danger when he's in the box. I mean, he has uh, the dribbling, he has the shooting. I mean, he's, he's one of the, of the great icon items in this FIFA 22. Nice one for Graveson. Well, well, well. These two might have been on different sides of the bracket, whether that was the EA side or the Team Adidas side, but they've set up a fantastic grand final so far. We can see a couple of little of the stats at half time here. Six shots in the favour of Graveson and Pedri. To be fair, I mean, they have had more shots and more chances. I wouldn't necessarily say Rodrigo, they've been, you know, the most perfect of chances. There have been shots from distance. The odd header that, you know, was quite easy, to be completely honest, with Schmeichel parrying that one over the bar. On the flip side, it's been much more counter-attack-esque play from Texan Jotti. You see Pele every time. They just keep peeling them off the bat line, trying to find that through ball. Yeah, true. I do agree with that. I think the first half was quite equal. I think the the result is quite fair in that way. And I think, you know, that maybe in in this second half, the one that misses the less is going to take the win for sure. Because there, I, I'm pretty sure that there, there won't be so many chances in the first half. I'm pretty sure. So the one that uh, takes the target, I think, are going to take the win. Here's Pele again, that man we just spoke about. Look, he's still going to make that run. Once and twice, they defended superbly well by the fullback. Pele. It's a Cantona. He would be offside, Maradona, if the ball did fall through to him. He fortunately, actually didn't win the ball there. Cantona again. This is nice from Jota and Tex. Even better defending Javi having to come back there. Just to intercept play. We haven't seen extra time yet, or... Dreaded penalty shootout. You're in the FGS FIFA 22 challenges of yet, but that could all change in the grand final. Competitive this one has been. You just see Pele there again, peeling off. It's what they're looking for every single time, and that's what the 2v2 environment will bring you with player switching and sort of, you know, teeing up players' runs. Nice one by Desailly. Another central back, which is, I think, one of the best in this game. And I think, you know, that the pressure that uh, now Tex and Jota are doing over uh, Gravis and defense is quite, quite high and quite useful for, for them to take the ball back. Big win. Oh, referee pulls it on back for a free kick. 
One thing I alluded to in our last game we did call, Rodrigo, is lack of substitutions, lack of changes, lack of players sort of pausing the game late into it. I mean, I have seen a few of these benches. They are stacked. They have got quality there, but thinking of the defence, the players are maybe a little bit too worried to sub off the quality that's already on the pitch because you are talking, you know, the best icons in the game. Yeah, chance. This is nice. Pele, one more. That is top quality FIFA. The one more pass that many will always tell you about. Finds Eric Cantona. Pele not on the score sheet that time. It will be the French striker instead who puts that duo back in front by just one goal with 29 minutes left to play here. I think it's fair, this goal. They did it really, really well in the box. And I think it's fair because, you know, in the, se in, in the second half, uh, we've not seen Gravison and Petri even get closer to Texan Jota's box. So I think, uh, you know, at least at this point of the second half, you know, I think it's quite, quite fair, this, this result. Come out flying. In this second leg, Cantona, cheeky chip. Oh, he Ooh. was offside, but that would have been one way. To potentially crown the themselves as champions of the night. You said about changes, Rodrigo. If it does stay like this with 20 minutes left on the clock, maybe we could see some sort of custom tactic change because then they're going to need to go for that. Is nice. Oh, oh. How did he not squeeze that one in? My God. It was that one. Very, very clear that one. Very bold and very risky from Texan Jota. Nicely done, though. They are happy to play in those areas that maybe some duos wouldn't be. And also, to spice things up in the final third when they need to with an extra skill move or a flick of the stick. Final 20 now. Will be back to back wins for Tex. He might have had two different partners across the years, but since it was confirmed that he would be teaming up with Diogo Jota, they were. Chad about heavily his favourites. One more goal would certainly seal that. I should say back up that point even more. Cantona, is he onside? Yes, he is. Look at that fake shot that just isn't there, Carlos. I'm to try and defend more. That is that pause we've been talking about. Now, are we going to see those changes? Probably on the side of Gravison and Pedri. Yeah, there we go. Oh, let's see what Pedri and Gravison has uh, ready for for this last stage of the game. I don't know, but for example, it surprised me a lot to 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 see Xavi on the midfield. I remember in the past FIFA edition uh, that he was quite slow in that term, you know, that he's not at the same level of, for example, Gullit or midfields like, like them, for example. So that's why it quite surprised me a lot. I mean, coming from Gravesen, which has been always a fan of uh, Rit Gullit, um, I don't know if he's going to change any at the midfield or maybe up front. Let's see what happens at the end. But they need to do something. They have still time anyway. I'd love to listen into these conversations to work out what is changing and what is being changed. Dalglish comes on for and Torres. One of the two teams, but Fernando Torres on the other side. Yeah. The only icon that I've ever packed on FIFA is uh, El Nino. Is he going to be the man to make a difference, though? Let's say, oh, into Cantona. Ball around the goalkeeper. Let's finish that. It's got ice in their veins. So composed when he needed to be. And that should be job done. I don't know if that was a lack of around the corner or something on those lines. Cantona says, yep, we're in for a winner here. And that will pretty much conclude, seal the deal. And make that duo on your screen. FIFA 22 Challenge Champions. Fair enough for them. I mean... They only, I mean, Gravison and Pedri only got to uh, Texan Jota's box once in the second half. So I think, you know, they did a pretty well uh, tournament, but, you know, in this final, they've been not at the same level that we saw them before. So that's why I think Texan Jota are going to take the win for, for granted, you know, unless something happens here. No way. Cabat was there, chance just isn't landing where they want the ball to land. Another long ball four, but this time is it a hopeless one? 
Reverse Elastico, Pele can't pickpocket Desai on that time. Torres, now Gleish also on the field. It's a double change, but is it too little, too late? Does link up well. Ginola! Oh. That was the chance, if there was any hope. That had to go in. They only had two chances in the second half, and both of them were completely dismissed. So that's why, for example, they, they're going to lose. Anyway, they struggle a lot trying to combine, uh, trying to, to take the pass, take the ball, pass the ball, you know, like the Spanish way uh, they do in ducks. But, you know, anyway, they, they did a really nice tournament for them. Well, 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 this is the moment. Tex and Jota, they were hyped up as favourites at the start of play today. And they will be your FIFA 22 Challenge champions. Tex goes back to back. He did it in FIFA 21 with Trent Alexander-Arnold a year on. He swaps the teammate out from Liverpool and he crowns himself a champion once again. Fnatic Tex in Diogo Jota will be your FIFA 22 Challenge champions. And it's safe to say, Rodrigo, thoroughly, thoroughly deserved. Yeah, it's true, it's true. I mean, they were superior in the final. During the whole tournament, they've been like the main favorites and they proved it in the final. They did a nice job, Diogo Jota. I think he's one of the of the best footballers, traditional footballers that play FIFA 22. It's a great surprise for everyone. And I think that Tex, what else? What I can say about Tex, which is, I think, the, the best one in the world, isn't it? Well, there was eight duos, as we said, that came to fight here in the FIFA 22 challenge. Teams from Team Adidas, team from Team EA. It will be Team EA though that does come out on top in the end of play here. Some brilliant, brilliant games today and some brilliant moments of 2v2. Just a small taster of what is to come this year in the FGS 22 season. 2v2 heavily being involved with a number of tournaments and the pro scene, of course, dipping its toes into the world of 2v2. And it's been nice to see today, Rodrigo, as I said, a small taster of what could be to come this year. Uh, and of course, at even more of a high competitive level. We'll be here. It's going to be a great, great season for FIFA 22 competitive scene. So thanks for the invitation. It's been a pleasure to be with you all, Brendan. And well, well deserved for all the Spanish people together in the chat. Hello to everyone. It's been an absolute pleasure having you cast alongside me, Rodrigo Fires. Of course, from that man, Rodrigo, myself, Brandon Smith. That is a wrap from us here in the casting booth at the FIFA 22 Challenge. And for one final time, I'm going to pass it back over to Rachel. Thanks, Brandon. Thanks, Rodrigo. Great cooling of that grand final. Mike LeBell, I have a question for you. Tex Jota, name a better FIFA 2v2 partnership. Go, you're on the spot. No joke. I, I actually think they could compete in this year's uh, Global Series, these two, as, as a competitive team. I, I would love to see that if that somehow could be put together. I don't know if that's possible, if it, it can fit, but... That's how good they looked. I was impressed the the entire day, every match they went into. I mean, even that third goal, and we got to talk to him in a second, it was a dummy, and then you walked it around the goalkeeper, and it just had everything that you're looking for to close out the game in a big moment. I'm, I'm not naming, I'm not naming, I'm not naming a 2v2, is what I'm saying. I'm going to go with that i mean a little bit of, of what we've seen from tex and jota today because they've been completely unstoppable and we spoke about the relationship between these two teammates and it seemed they had that perfectly nailed down didn't they from the offset I, I'm, I'm looking forward to talking to him i hope we get to talk to him because i just want to know did training and preparation go into it because they, they seem like they were on the same page Okay, well, I think we can speak to our champions of the FIFA 22 Challenge. I think they're ready and waiting. Guys, Tex, Jota, congratulations. Hello. I mean, Tex, you've done the business twice uh, back to back now. Jota, you've just joined an absolute champion. I asked Mike, I mean, boys, name a better FIFA 2v2 partnership, I dare you. <laughs> nah, first game. Uh... First tournament, a little 2v2 win, but it's what happens when you put two good FIFA players together. We, we <laughs> and that's what we did. With the Reds connection, isn't it? I mean, I mean, Tex, we spoke to Diogo earlier and he was like, you know, very much a team. Don't really know who was team captain. Um, what would you say on that? Were you team captain? Were you telling your Liverpool player what to do from a fan's point of view? Or was it level playing field out there today? 
<laughs> to be fair, it was a bit 50-50, you know, telling him, like, <laughs> each other what to do. Um, but, like, we had some tactics and brain, and uh, when our formation wasn't working, like the semi-final, we spoke to each other, we switched it up, we changed formation, and um, when we went into the 4 2 2 we were dangerous. And, Jota, I'm going to direct this to you. Because everything's changed into this 2v2 format, what do you feel were the, the, the keys to success for both of you guys to play uh, together and to be so dominant today? Yeah, I think uh, it will be much, uh, much more fun. I would say two v twos. It's just like another, another level, in my opinion. And I think the main thing is to the connection between the players. Uh, so the way they connect, the way they they can speak to each other, and of course, I knew text before this, and that could be useful as well. So I think in the competitive scene, that will be the the same. So maybe there will be better 1v1s, but here in 2v2s is about the connection. Yeah, absolutely. We've spoken about the connection quite a lot this tournament, haven't we? Tex, I'm going to ask a question. You went up against your good mate, Tom, early doors, and Akin Fenwa. I mean, how does it feel when you when you knock out a mate and the beast early doors like you guys did? <laughs> Knocking out Tom is quality. He's very lucky. I, I've been on Xbox and he's been on PlayStation. We met... We I think we lost the guys there. So unfortunate. That's what we happens, lost, isn't it? We lost, oh, I think. We lost Steph. Yeah, oh, wait, wait, still wait. There. I'm, I'm right. alive. I'm alive. Right, perfect, perfect. So I'm the, I'm perfect. the real winner. Yes. <laughs> well, I know. So now that Tex is not, what is now, now, that te now that Tex is not here, have you guys played 1v1 in FIFA 22? And if you have, what were the results? No, we didn't. We had like... Um, uh, sponsorship thing with Liverpool, so I was involved with Tex. I think he's coming out soon, uh, but we haven't played uh, FIFA. But I can tell I I was quicker than in in the reaction time, so he needs to. Yeah. <laughs> Trash talking at its finest here. Um, obviously we just we heard earlier that you've got a new esports team. Mike was saying about it. What's your aim for that this year? You've obviously got Levinkin, like he's a solid, solid player. Are you going to try and go? all the way obviously you're not going to turn pro anytime soon we hope because we want to see you on the pitch yeah. still doing the stuff but what's what's the plan with your team like how far do you want to go with it yes yeah, st step by step i think uh, last season we started with the season already underway so we couldn't really sign players because they are obviously with their teams so this season we we signed levink and I, like you said we have so, uh, as well uh, we kept both out of, of our Portuguese players and we signed one really pros promising, he's only 17, uh, Jota Afonso. Uh, so I think uh, the plan is to improve, to grow in the Portuguese scene and then in the future to, to be a, um, a remarkable team like Fnatic and like Dex Plays and all the other teams around there. And, and Jota, on our way out here, uh, I've just been thinking because we see it on social media everywhere, people are talking. You've played a lot of people. Is anyone better than you that's a pro footballer? Or are you good with that claim as being the top guy? I, I can't say I'm the top guy. You know, there's always people out there. Um, I remember seeing uh, um, a, a Red Bull Salzburg, I think, player as well, making 20 and 0 and that kind of stuff. I think they're always uh, competitive games. Uh, but the way I take this game, I think, <laughs> yeah, I'm the top. Seriously. <laughs> In terms of grinding. I love that. Massive confidence from you, Diogo. Well, congratulations, you and Tex. We lost him, but you are champions for FIFA 22 Challenge. Congratulations. We've loved having you here. And uh, best of luck for the big match coming this weekend as well. You'll have to get back to, to the real pitch now, but thanks for joining us on the virtual <laughs> one. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for, for, for your conversation, guys. Take care. There you have it. Mike, that was great. Text Jota doing the business.